Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Florida day two. We're up and about early. It's currently coming up to half past seven, and we are off to Animal Kingdom this morning, which opens at eight o'clock. We're gonna get ourselves inside. We're gonna enjoy a Starbucks in there today. Yeah. I do like the Animal Kingdom Starbucks. It's good, isn't it? I love the Animal Kingdom Starbucks. It's just, just sitting there and what, where it is, it's lovely to just watch all the people coming into the park. I enjoy that yeah, bit, yeah. a bit of people watching. There's good theming in there as well. And then, yeah, hopefully a little ride on Flight of Passage, a little expedition up to Everest. Oh, and maybe go, go with Rafiki somewhere. Maybe we're going to do Rafiki's Planet Watch as well, which we haven't done for a little while. I don't think we've ever vlogged that either. So we're going to try and go there. Uh, maybe uh, capture a dino. Oh, the, oh, the pizza <laughs> Definitely dino. Definitely not our dino. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about the pizza. I'm talking about the ride. <laughs> She's on about the pizzas. <laughs> Always thinking about food. Always. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, maybe catch a dino and then catch a dino pizza. Because pizza go. in there is to die for. It's only cheap, quick service, but I absolutely love it. I've been dreaming about it since last time I had it. Which is obviously gluten-free as well, uh, in terms of allergies. And then we're probably going to go to the outlets. I'd like to buy a couple of t-shirts, just some cheap, thin t-shirts, because I didn't bring a huge amount with bringing hand luggage. And yeah, we'll just see what happens with the rest of the day. So uh, join us. Thank you very much for uh, clicking on the video. And let's get ourselves in to Animal Kingdom. Nice and quiet this morning, looking good. I'm in the mood for a bit of Animal Kingdom. So am I. Looking forward to that jungly music as you go round as oh, well. I love how, yeah, I love how green it is and how just like organic it is and stuff. It's a nice vibe in here. Let me know what is your favourite Disney park, everyone. I know it's hard to choose. It is. Very hard to choose. Love a bit of Avatar. Can't wait to see my mate at Jackie Ogden again. Oh my god, you love Jackie, don't you? Yeah, my mate Jackie. Oh, look at that. Well, I think we might get lucky. We might get the end of a row here, Laura. I think we're gonna be uh, gonna be good to go. It's always the big question when you come into park. You're gonna get the end of a row. However, yeah, we're getting the end of a row, but the wrong end of a row. I thought we were quids in, and we're not. Oh no! <laughs> we wanted to park down on the right, not the left. So yeah, no good, no good. <laughs> ah well, exercise. Well, yeah, it's a little walk in. The tram's aren't even running. It's a walk in this morning. It is cooler today as well. 61 degrees Fahrenheit. So, a little bit cooler today. That'd probably be about 15, 17 ish, I'd say. Around that. Oh, that is cold, isn't it? Yeah, it is a little bit cooler this morning. It'll warm up later, though. Oh, yeah, same as yesterday when the sun comes out. Comes there we out, go. On it yet. All parked, and in we go. Enjoying that like, mu jungly music as we head on in, Laura. I love how every park has their own music and it just it goes so well with theme. Their own little this vibe. Is music, this is it is, it. yeah. yeah. I, I like the live music they have on in here sometimes we as well. That live, uh, yeah, that little stage. I'll try and show you that later on. Oh, I can, yeah. Joffrey's just there. Any Joffrey's fans? People prefer Joffrey's to a Starbucks. Oh yeah, I'm excited for today now. Get me in there. There she is, the tree of life. So many animals on that tree. I can never count them all. But she is beautiful. Here we go then, we are in, and uh, we are straight into Starbucks first. But yeah, we're in. Uh, Avatar, 90 minute wait, so we might go and join that after our coffee. Or we might do Everest first, but Everest at the moment is showing closed. So that should open up soon. And then we'll, uh, we'll see, but first of all, we've got to have a little coffee. Start the day, get us, get us fully awake. And there's Laura's pizza place there, Pizza Safari just there. It opens at 11 a.m. It opens at 11, that one. You do go on about it a lot, don't you? I know, I don't think it's a big place. The kids in there have a pizza at the same size. You can always get a pizza. You get a drink kind of pizza food as well. Only for allergies. For normal, it's a different size. For me, it's the same size. There you go. Top tip allergy makers. Yes, and if the kids want, and we get a little drink kind of pizza food afterwards.
we've got our coffees unfortunately there's not quite anywhere to sit just yet keeping an eye out we're going to stick you on time lapse and we'll see which way the crowd's moving most i think it's going to be coming this way obviously in i reckon but yeah i've got my uh, caramel latte and i've gone for a little chocolate croissant today as well for breakfast Well, I'm all caffeinated and caramelized and we're going to enjoy a walk through now towards Dinosaur. Everest is still not quite open yet, but it's a nice park to walk around this. There's something to look at on every single corner, every single way you turn. You've got different views, different things to look at. Love wandering through this park. So many different little avenues you can take. Oh yeah, theming in here is amazing. The biggest park I've called them just because of they've got the um Yes, because of all the land with the animals, yes. yeah. That's the one. Yeah, look at all the theming on all the buildings. The little live band will be on in here in a bit. Laura's loving this little explorer's backpack. It's nice, isn't it? It's really cute, yeah. Quite subtle. That's one thing as well, you do get a lot of different merch in here as well. Like the outfit you got last time, Laura. Only get in here. Yeah. So it's a nice angle to have a look at the tree of life. You can see all the different animals on the back there. Love the big owl in the middle. You got the, uh, I think it's a hippo, is it? Just to the right, yeah. You can see all kinds. Once you start looking closely, you can see so much in there. Amazing to look at. Me and Laura have just said here, uh, we should have brought our Starbucks up to here. You've got a tree, a view of the tree of life there. And these tables are all empty, so if you do get a Starbucks, walk around with it to here. Yeah, definitely. It's early though, because obviously later on the cafe will be open, so you can't. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. We're in early, so th these aren't open, hence why these are empty. But what a lovely place to sit with your coffee and look at that. I wish we'd have done that now. But uh, I'll give that recommendation to you viewers. Lovely place to bring your Starbucks here. Yeah. Not going to battle for there was a few uh, Karens there, wasn't there? Going. Are you leaving? There was a few, yeah, there was a few yeah, getting feisty for the tables. <laughs> yeah, come round here, look at all these tables and chairs yeah. that you can use. And got a better view. Here they come, Laura. That's me and you of a morning there. That's oh, what yeah, we're like. Up, yeah. Be, yeah. That's us, eight in the morning. <laughs> that's what I'm like on the <laughs> way to work. <laughs> that's me, yeah. That's me off, look. I'm like that, waving at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they do have these regular little boats go round uh, through the canals and the so lakes. So everyone can see Ricky and William. Yeah. Friends, isn't it? it is good fun. So we made our way round now to Dinosaur. One of my favourites. This is a good classic, this it one. It is a really good classic. I will say it is quite intense though. Yeah, you say it's intense for kids, don't you? Yeah, for kids, yeah. It's quite dark, quite flashy dance all that. Yeah. I mean, you know, we all go to the dinosaur period, you know. What's the dinosaurs? Skyracosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not our dino. <laughs> yeah. Hello there. <laughs> it's a good fun one, this. So this will be our first ride of the day. It's only a 10 minute wait. It doesn't normally get big long lines, this one. It's a shame. Yeah, this is a little bit underrated, this one, I think. Yeah. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, everyone. So we'll do this, and then we're gonna go and jump in the queue for Avatar, I think. We'll let the initial, you know, rush and hype, everyone go straight to Avatar. Yeah. Let it die down a little. And then we'll go and join the queue, go and see Jackie Ogden. 
Laura, just a quick question. What? I was only going to ask you when you think he was originated for when he was born. When do you think he was born? I thought I was going to ask. About the same age as you then. <laughs> how much did they pay you to model that? How much did the uh, how much royalties how much royalties do you get for that? <laughs> Sky Rakasaurus Laura. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. We gathered our small belongings from the car in front of you and we made a tedious tilt rope across the galaxy. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! Iguanodon. Look at it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. Brace yourself! This is it! They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! Red, 13 foot tall bird. Have you seen her? Adventure is out there! And so is so we've just come into Rafiki's Planet Watch, which is a really good merchandise store. Look at those for Crocs. I've never seen those. Look at them with the fluffy insides. Laura's going to pick up her ears as well today. Yeah. They all voted on Instagram. You and they were the ones that ones? won, the black ones. Some lovely stuff in here. It's a nice Ooh. one. That was in um, that was in Hollywood Studios yesterday as well, that one. Yeah, they've got loads in here. It's a really good merchandise store, this one. I mean, they're all good, but this has a massive range of things. Have a look at some of the different mugs. That's quite a nice, interesting one. A bit different, a big one. Yeah, not as many nice ones as yesterday so far. There's some nice interesting ones. Yeah. So if you're a Disney Cruise Line fan, I would have loved this as a kid. Look at this, $100 big full Cruise Line model. Well, I'd have loved as a kid if that was a monorail or if that was a um, tram. Looks like there's noises on it, is there? Does it do stuff? It's yeah. not working, but I think it does stuff, yeah. I think it makes noises and lights up and things. So we have now changed our minds. Laura's gone for a last minute d change and has gone for these, which I think are lovely. But we didn't see these anywhere else yesterday. No, so for them. Looks like we're going for them, I think. They're very different as well, aren't they? And they're the 100 as well. But it was a tough, yeah. We didn't see them. I think they would have won yesterday if we'd have done the vote, I reckon. Yeah. Rafiki's Planet Watch, here we are, let's go and give this a go. We've done this before, however, uh, we went vlogging when we did it. Looking good in your ears there, Laura, look at that, you know. Do you like the ears? Let us know in the comments about Laura's ears. But yeah, this, you get a little train across to a little uh, conservation reserve, a little bit further back, and you can pet some of the animals, learn about them, something very different. There's a train in there we might be able to catch. But yeah, you get the Wildlife Express to con Conservation Station. So it is a good little ride this one, great for kids as well, it's educational, you get a little ride on the train here, look at this. So this is cool because all of the chairs face outwards so you can have a look at the view as you go, I like that. Yeah, I found that really interesting. It's been years since we've done this, but yeah I like the seats all face outwards. And yeah. How long ago it was. I yeah, since we did this, yeah. yeah. I'll try and find a picture if I can. Welcome aboard the Wildlife Express with service to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Here, you'll discover a wide range of animal adventures from the affection section, where you can get up close and personal with domesticated animals like goats, sheep, and more. Sneak peeks at animal care and action at our veterinary nutrition and science centers. Also, be sure to check out the animation experience at 
conservation station where you can learn to draw your favorite Disney characters inspired by live animals from one of our animators. So we have just arrived and one of the things you can do is some fun sketching. They do like art classes and sketch shows so there's all the times for that. And we'll let wander on in. There's Rafiki himself down there. You're gonna pet some animals, Laura? I haven't done this for ages. Laura is going to do the animation experience and I'm going to film Laura doing it, artist do over like here. Yeah, okay, get yourself in there, get your pen and paper. Okay, show entrance that way. You ready for this, Laura? I am, I'm excited and I've even started us off with the basics. Oh, nice. Yeah, they give you a base space on day to go. Yeah. This best look amazing. It's gonna look awful, but I'm fine. <clears throat> Once it's finished, Laura's gonna auction it off, aren't we? <laughs> auction off charity, yeah. Since the 1930s, Disney animators have put their pencils to paper in service of the idea that the greatest inspiration often comes from the magic of nature. Great job. All right. Well, my name is Joshua. I'm going to be your instructor for this class. Before we get started, I just need to go over a few very important uh, housekeeping items that you're going to need to know about. So the most important of which is uh, you need to know where the only exit to this uh, theater is. And that one and only exit will be over here to the left-hand side of the theater. Also, that's where our restrooms are. So if you do need to use restrooms, that's also where you need to go, okay? Now, if you need any assistance during our class here today, uh, please know that we have cast members here in the theater. They'd be more than happy to help you out. Uh, so if you do need... Uh, we artists like to break them down into basic shapes. Everything. Break all of it down into basic shapes. And then use those shapes to help us draw the character. Okay? Why? Because it's a lot easier to drive somewhere when you know where you're going. Okay? Um, so... Uh, that's how we draw these characters. Now, unfortunately, that can be very difficult and very confusing for those of you who've never done it before. So, what we did here instead is we kind of uh, made it a little bit more basic by just breaking down his head into this watermelon shape and then adding what we call guidelines. Guidelines are another thing that we artists use so that we're putting every part, part of the character's face in the right place. Nice, big shape. Now there is a really good way, uh, a little tip I'll give you for drawing ovals like this, okay? Because this egg shape is kind of an oval shape. And then basically, you keep going around and around and around and around and around until you either have something that you like, or you just finally accept that it now exists on your paper and you're just going to move on with your life, okay? Boss. He's kind of a con man. He's very confident in himself. Uh, so we're going to show that here by just. That's right! You are a good artist! However, if you want to become a much better artist, so we're all done here's Laura's uh, little drawing. It's alright. It's alright. I think it's quite good. I think it's quite good that. It's a good fun little class. Half an hour that was. And nice and easy. You know, they made the characters what they were and why they chose to do like different things that they yeah. would normally do with characters to make them a bit more friendly and stuff. So it's really good. So we're now in the little petting zone. This is where you can Pet some of the animals, some of the goats and things. Yeah. You have to sanitise your hands on the way in. And then you get to... And you can't touch them if you go into that section. Yeah, and you can't touch the faces. Yeah. yeah. Some we can get a good close-up look at the animal. It's from here, though. Well, top tip is definitely to come here first thing in the morning. It's very busy now. So Can't get near them. Yeah, They're all like, bugger that, I'm going like in the like middle, yeah. It's uh, quite busy in here. We're going to yeah. probably head over back to the to the best of the park and we'll, uh, we're going to do a little live stream, which I'll link yeah. in the description, and we're going to do Flight of Passage. Oh, I'm excited. So we'll uh, head over and try and get our little train back. But yeah, it's good fun over here. You can spend as long as you want. There's regular little trains. And you can pet the animals, learn about them. There is different exhibitions inside as well. Just done a fantastic live stream. We had a little wander around the park and came into Avatar where we're now going to join the queue 
and uh, hopefully go and see Jackie Ogden. Rafiki's Fat Planet Watch, would you recommend it? Definitely, especially that little art class for the kids as well. That was so much fun to yeah. information as well, so I really enjoyed Yeah, that. it was good. It's a little bit different, we've not done it for a while. But yeah, let's go and do Flight of Passage now. It's going to be a little bit of a wait, but it has dropped down a little bit since this morning. And uh, we'll catch you on the ride. See me? Yes. Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi ride of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron. Welcome, everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi. Flying on the back wall. Nice to the challenge. the chair the way we showed you in the video. As just as Jackie said, on your flight visors. Good luck. <laughs> What a ride that is, oh love it. Amazing. I got on one of the, the rides with loads of water, I'm, I'm soaked. Laura got soaked, I didn't, but I love that scene with the whale and the sea spray and you go along the ocean yeah. with the wave. Amazing. So good. I loved it. So good. Uh, we waited in total about an hour, so not bad at all. Well, not bad at all. Yeah, you're in the rooms, you go in the link chamber and you speak to Jackie Ogden and... All of that. You're not going to be just standing around bored the whole time. You have got the peace show, the peace peace show. Yeah, and you yeah. can have your phones in there, and there is Wi-Fi, so you can stand and do bits and bobs, and yeah. it's, it's not too bad at all. Cons compared to all the wait times uh, and all the lines, it wasn't too bad at all. Yeah, yeah it was a great ride, that. Loved it. Well, here's a very happy Laura. There's the gluten-free pepperoni pizza. It's and to be fair, all of this, I think this is a great deal. This is a kid's pizza, but it's pretty big. Pretty yeah. big pizza, two oranges and a little water. Eight dollars, eight bucks. Yeah. I think that's a pretty good deal, isn't it? Oh, the well, compared pizza. to the hot dog we had in Casey's, exactly. And that's yeah. a proper good, freshly made pizza. It took a little, probably a little five, longer. ten minutes longer than normal, but yeah. you know it's going to be piping hot, fresh when you yeah, get it. I'm a good deal, that. So it's one to note that for kids, kids pizza, but you don't have to be a kid to get it. That is a good. That's a bigger well, than an individual no, the, size um, at home. That. Normal pizzas are smaller than that because it's an analogy pizza. It's yeah. It's bigger. Well, Look at you, look at you, can't complain for eight dollars, can you? No. Just getting to the outlets now for some t-shirts for Andrew. I'm not gonna look for much really because I don't need anything, but if something really pops out at me, I will get it. My pizza was absolutely amazing and amazing value for the money, so I'm happy. And just gonna get some pretzel dogs that you like. I think I'll get an Auntie Anne's pretzel dogs, see if there's any super, super cheap bargains. Just a couple of Under Armour t-shirts and I'm, and I'm happy. Yeah. Um, unless something really does jump out, but we're gonna film some bits for you guys as well. Um, and also go to Character Warehouse. If you haven't been here before, these are the premium outlets on Vineland Avenue, which are pretty close to Disney. And these are where all your your main stores have a bit of an outlet. Used to be a lot cheaper when the exchange rate was better. Oh, yeah, now it's not the. It's it's cheap. It's cheaper, but it's not. If the exchange rate was back to two dollars to the pound, it would be you know oh, bargains insane, for us. Yeah. But you can find good deals in here. You know, discounted Nike stuff. Um, you know, a lot of it's like last season stuff. Um, but there is good deals to be had in here. A lot of them have like vouchers and different bits it's where a lot of people come you can get a lift here if you're staying in a disney resort which is, it wouldn't cost you much at all and you can get from the universal resorts down to here as well but if you stay in the universal there is another premium outlets uh, on international drive so you have got one already up there however personally we find the one at vineland here um, easier to manage a lot more pleasurable it's nicer to walk around the layout is easier yeah it's a bit easier to park so uh, we do prefer this one but yeah, nice Auntie Anne's, some form of drink, a slush or something. I haven't drank enough today. No, no nowhere near I. drank enough today. With it being overcast, we haven't been drinking enough. And uh, yeah, find a couple of t-shirts or something. See if anything special pops up. We're definitely going to try and get into Character Warehouse, unless there's a massive queue, which yeah. sometimes there is. We'll see if there's any, you know, super cheap deals in there. Give you an idea of what is here. You've got Tommy Hilfiger, you've got Nike, you've got Under Guess, Armour. You've got Aldo, you've got... Uh, Kate Spade, Ralph Lauren. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot uh, here. Sunglass so really good. Yeah. 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 So we'll check it out and let you see what we see as well. So we're we gonna let you see what we see. <laughs> that was I a, that know. Was a I know. What was that? that? I know. Back of a t-shirt. That. I've never let even. You see what 
you let what was it? Let, let you, you see, see what, what we, we see. see. I've never even said that in my life. Just sums up vlogging all together. <laughs> yeah. Let you see what we see. But it's the Stride truth. On. <laughs> After a lot of searching, we finally got a space here. Uh, just outside of Adidas and Coach. And it, is, uh, it is a Saturday, so it is crazy busy. I would never normally recommend coming on the weekend. However, when you're only coming for a week, you've got to get things done on the weekend. So uh, not too much choice, but if I had a choice, if I was here for a couple of weeks, I would definitely recommend coming on a weekday in the morning when it opens 10, 11 o'clock. It uh, would be the best time. The weekends here do get a little bit crazy, especially parking wise. So uh, let's uh, head on in. I'm going to get an Auntie Anne's first, I think, with a little drink. How are they? They do look certainly hit the spot. Good, and you've got a nice Powerade as well. You can make, you can get them in the UK, but just hit the spot near. They just yeah, you don't get them in the UK, do you? Yeah, you can do, but no, but you I go don't. Liverpool, they never seem to have one. Never seem to have pretzel dogs. Well, yeah, you've just got the last pretzel dog now, and I've only just put another bunch in the oven. So nice and slow again. How you enjoying it? Success here in Under Armour. I've got three nice thin t-shirts, some nice new shorts, and uh, Laura's got herself some socks. So we're pretty done, pretty successful. Forty dollars each, but then there's forty percent off. I think so. Sixteen quid off each top. Yeah, sixteen dollars each. But I'll wear these in Tenerife and everything. I think they last a long time. So uh, we're happy with them. In the yeah, you love the Under Armours, don't you? Yeah, I never thought I'd love a pair of socks that much to no. be like. Never go back. Well, we're in the queue now for Character Warehouse. We we're going to get ourselves in there. It looks fully stocked. It looks like they've got a lot of stuff, a lot of Christmas stuff as well. So we're going to have a little look. I can see uh, lounge fry bags in there and all kinds. So we'll show you what they've got going on here. Uh, towards middle of January it is now. So we'll see if there's any uh, bargains to be had, eh, Laura? Yeah. Quick little line. Only about five minute wait there. See if they've got anything interesting in here. We've still got some of the Halloween stuff in the corner. Halloween Crocs there, $29. Christmas spirit jerseys, how much are these, Laura? 30 quid. $30 for the Christmas spirit jerseys. Got other Christmas jumpers and stuff in here as well. A few decorations. a good deal the tiki room lounge fly is only $40 so more than half price it's a nice one that as well I do like that one plain the other people don't $40 that just in case spade now and oh my god I need I need what Andrew won't allow me what do you want to get you yet another bag how much is it it's still quite expensive they just sent off, but they're adorable. A black one is amazing. Oh, we're in trouble now because they've got this bunny bag, and you know, Laura loves bunnies. I mean, does it look good or does it look stupid? I don't know, kind of looks good. Kind of, well, I don't think it's meant to be that way around, though, is it? It's meant to be that way around. Oh dear. <laughs> How much is that? I mean, it's 60% off, which is handy, but. We ain't planning on buying anything, were we? Whoa, what? 400? Yeah. Minus 60%, that's still hundreds, isn't it? I that's thought it was going to be like a 50 quid bag. No. I'm not I'm paying not that. No. Jeez. Yeah. That is just. <laughs> It's kind of ridiculous though, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a sausage dog or what? No How much is that? Them. Really? You love that? I won't wear it. Oh, let me know in the comments, Four everyone. 430. 430. Minus Four 75% feet. off this one. Good, though, wow. Well, good evening, Striders. We've had a little uh, chill for a couple of hours, as we do. Very important to take your breaks on these trips because you will get very tired. You will get peopled out. You will get familyed out. Yes. You will get couples doubt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so very important just to take that break. I literally sat for an hour and a half there, earphones in, and I just did some editing. Laura sat and watched Bones, and we just chilled out. Chilled. 
And now I feel refreshed. I do feel good. I had a nice drink of uh, Gatorade in there. And now we're going to head to Epcot. Since we've already paid for the parking, it's not far down the road. It's currently five o'clock. It doesn't close till nine. So we'll get in there, do a couple of rides, maybe soaring. We'll see if we can get a, um, a lightning lane for Gal uh, Guardians oh, of the, the, the Galaxy. Galaxy. I'm happy to pay for that. Love that ride. No, I'm not even bothered. I've had a separate budget to ride that. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. We're going to head into Epcot. It didn't actually brighten up today. It did stay a little bit overcast all day. Little sprinkle of rain this afternoon yeah. as well while we were in. So we timed that well. But uh, yeah, tomorrow it should brighten up and be you nice said and sunny. It's going to brighten up tomorrow. Be nice. But has it affected our day at all? Like I said to you earlier, not at all. We've still had a fantastic day doesn't make any difference to me yeah the blue sky and sun is is nice but certainly doesn't affect anything for me i'd come whether it was cloudy or not yeah. so we will let uh, catch you when we get to epcot so andrew's really hoping we get this song for god yeah i think it goes so well on yeah. guardians of the galaxy this one this and september are my favorites if we get on it i'll be cheddared either way but uh they're my two favorites if, if we could do it if we could pick one it'd be uh that one tears for fears and here we are epcot you got the uh, receipt from this morning Laura? yeah it's there okay. so we've got our receipt to show that we've already paid so we get in for free now sometimes they're bothered and check here sometimes they're not we'll have a look and here we are at epcot i do have to correct one little thing that we did say earlier on regarding park hopping uh, you don't have to make a reservation however you still can't park hop on some of the days until about two o'clock so today i did check the app most of them said two o'clock park hopper eligibility so do check that on the app i think that could change but whether it goes by season how busy it is but it was only eligible to hop park up today at two o'clock but it doesn't matter for us because we're coming later anyway we are here we're getting ourselves in and i'm so excited to get back into this park it really has become one of our favorites over the last year or so hasn't it a little bit more adulties i just like the simplicity of the place i love guardians i love soaring Yes, one of my favourites this park now. I got these. You know, as if I could, although they would get ruined. But they are super, super cute. Oh, the little mini princess range. Super cute. Oh, imagine a little girl in there. That's adorable. Although, I can imagine. Yeah, quite expensive. But super cute. So, the park is very busy. It looks like we've got no chance with Guardians. However, we've never been at this time of year. Me and Laura love artwork. Especially Disney artwork. You'll have seen us before vlogging uh, in the art shop in Disney Springs, but this is going to be, we're going to be mesmerised by all of this. I'm going to want to take loads of artwork home with me, which is also a good reason why I haven't brought a suitcase. So I can't take any home with me, but I love all of this. this is, I'm going to be in heaven. Love Wyland. You'll see me in the, in the art shop uh, in Boardwalk as well. I love all of this. I'm going to be in heaven here. Let me just spin you around and show you. I'm going to be wandering through all of these for the next half an hour or so. You've got all these here, which probably don't look much on the camera and the way they are. However, you'll see these specialized lightings. What you do is you put them in your wall at home and you buy, you can buy different colored bulbs. This is like a Philips setup normally are the best ones. And you can shine different colored lights onto them. And when you move around, the colors come to life. And it's a piece of metal that's all sort of been, uh, I don't know how you'd say it, drilled, drummled. Yeah, all of this is the same, but what you have to do at home is have some light fittings to light it all up. And you can get different Philips setups where you can change the colours and... When you change the colours, you change the perspective, so the light bounces on a different way, so you yeah. get a different piece of art, almost. So, probably people walking past think, oh yeah, they're, they're a bit, you know, meh. But lit up, they are amazing. More gorgeous pieces here, I love these. I like that one with the alligator in the, in like the Florida spring. It's very Florida that, although it's a gator. And I also like the parrot. Yeah, I'm loving this. I'm gonna be here for a little while. This one here looks amazing. Anything with the sort of glittery lighting in, again, any of the artwork, you wanna get little spotlights on it. It makes a huge difference to the pieces. 
I like all this glitter in here without the lights not going to be as, as good so we've seen these many times before in the wyland shop however laura now i have found my favorite of this style this is like a window isn't it this that one right there, that is the boardwalk. Love that. Stunning. Stunning and piece. The tree creates shadow on the little. Yeah, that's that's lovely that is. I wonder how much that is, a lot. So I don't even want to ask. But yeah. A lot of these are in the Wyland store, these. See that Pinocchio up there to give you an idea, it's nineteen thousand dollars for Pinocchio there. So it's uh it's a good job. We've got no money. And they've uh, got no uh, space in the case to take any of this artwork home because they do have smaller pieces that you can take that are more manageable. I think if you wanted any of them, they can ship it to you as well. What you would have to be careful of with the UK is though is import taxes and things like that. Well, you know you got bright shoes when an American lady came over to me and goes, Wow, your shoes are freaking bright. <laughs> there you go, my orange shoes. You can't miss me, I told you. Test track over there. I'll have a quick glimpse at Guardians. I wish we were going to be able to get on it, but not today, but we will be getting on it. Fear not. 100% I am getting on this thing no matter what at some point. We're heading across to Sorum. It's only a 30 minute line. Here's some of the painting by numbers you can do. So if you're here when it was open, it's only open until five o'clock. You can uh, grab a little uh, brush and a color and you can come and paint in some of the squares painting by numbers good fun for the kids and fill in your little squares yeah it's, it's busy in here there's quite a few cheerleading groups in here at the moment as well but soaring 30 minutes well worth it and then we'll go from there we might go and try and do remy's ratatouille later no chance of cosmic rewind at all i think everything is sold out for that one but we've got a good chance of test track as well. Have a little bite to eat, Laura. Look at that, look at the sky. Stunning. So as we enter the queue for soaring, really I'm getting a nice feeling as you walk in. It's nice and cool in here for a start. So I'm a bit hot with my jumper walking around now. We have the music and everything, it really does get the feels going. A proper classic, this one. It has become a bit of a classic, this, hasn't it? I'd love them to update the images and do a new screen on it, which I think they will eventually. I love this ride for feels, but I'm going to ask you all now, favourite ride in Epcot? What is your favourite? If you haven't done Cosmic Rewind, expect that to go top of your list, because it is an amazing ride. But what is your favourite? There's uh, some pretty good ones in this park. Good Let me know. Well, like yeah, classic test track. Bit of a classic however i do always say they ruined test track with the update that they did i loved the old traditional one with the spray booth and all of that they ruined it with all the fancy touch screeny designer car thing for me anyway in my opinion but yeah let me know hello and welcome to Sora. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. And of course, these little beauties. nostalgic after that ride on soaring there we had a very bendy uh paris tower though didn't we eiffel tower was uh, like a banana so we're gonna do living with the land because there's no weight and we're right here anyway this is a nice little relaxing ride this last time we did this it had the christmas overlay did it yeah it was christmas it was, yeah. yeah and we, we could barely film it because we had that family behind that just oh we, my God. yeah <laughs> So uh, we'll give this a go. We'll try and film as much of it as we can for you. It's a nice little ride, this. Especially if it's a hot day outside, you just want a little bit of a chilled ride. 
and it is very factual, very informative as well along the way. Living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. Time for a bite now. Connection eatery. So I'm going to have a little snack. Laura's going to go for some nuggets and chips or something. And then we're going to go over to Remy's Ratatouille. So, what did you go for? I'm not super hungry, so just a little kids nuggets and chips. Job done. Yeah, I, I got the allergy chicken nuggets and chips. Like you got two sides with it, and neither of us wanted the, the orange, so we both just got double fries. So that's why I've got hardly any chicken and a ton of fries, because I've got double fries, but well, that'll do somewhere, me. Somewhere nice for dinner tomorrow, Disney Springs, I think. Yeah, we'll do it's that. It's just a quick snacky table. And you can't beat a bit of chicken nuggies, can you? Some gorgeous sights around once the sun goes down here in Epcot. Across the water, everything all lit up. We're on our way to Ratatouille, which is a 60 minute wait at the moment, which is doable. But yeah, it's uh, stunning views, walking around. I love going through the UK pavilion there, all lit up. It's gives you that special little vibe, doesn't it? I know, it's gorgeous. I love how you've got England there, the fans there. It's very pretty to look at at night, isn't it? It does feel like a little mini city in some ways, looking around. But yeah, it's Ratatouille time, you're ready to cook. I am, I am. Well, here we go, Ratatouille, you're looking forward to this. Enjoy this little ride. It's a good little ride, actually, quite It's underrated. good fun, it's amazing for kids. Amazing yeah. for kids. Huh? What do I buy there? Coco van? No. Simple oh, I do enjoy that ride. It's just such a nice ride. We were saying it's mad how they describe themselves. Oh, those cars are so, so clever. Yeah, so clever. It's such clever. a good ride. If you're not a big fan of rides, that's a good one for you to do because it's nothing major, is it? It's just it's really smooth. And it wasn't that bad. It was about 45 minutes in the end. 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Yeah, it was a nice wait. So, quite happy with that. We might be able um, to squeeze in. We're going to try and squeeze in test track before we finish. If it doesn't go before down go. like it always yeah. does. It goes down about four or five times a day. It tests track. squeeze it in before we try and yeah. beat the crowds out. We're not going to watch the fireworks tonight. No, we're going to head on out. We'll try and beat everyone home. Loving the artwork. Like the different colours that they use for this stuff as well. Each it's stand really seems nice. to have like a different style, doesn't it? Yeah, each stand's a different artist, so I'm liking all this. Love the villains one. 
do love a good villain, like mate. As well, the uh, Galaxy's Edge one. Oh, yeah, there's that a whole is Star nice. Wars one down there. We will show you more. There's a couple of Star Wars ones. Look at that, like across the lake. Look at the, look at the oh. Anchor Ball. So, last ride of the day here on Test Track. It's only a 20 minute wait because everyone is heading for the fireworks. We're going to just about get on in time to finish off the day. Yeah. Andrew is out in his car right now. Here we go. He's doing it here aerodynamically. Ooh. <laughs> Optimise it. We're going to make it wide as well. Make it wide. Oh, what colour is he making it? Something cute. Oh, that's not cute. Purple. Oh! There you go. So this is the car. Gorgeous, so, isn't it? Power 74, responsiveness 45, efficiency 44, capability 37. Oh, you've not made a bit of very good car there. Well, there you go. Let's see how it does on the test track. <laughs> you never know, it could be the winning car. It's available to order now, pre orders. <laughs> nice stride for him. 10% off. Yeah, special colour code there. Look, look, you know you want that. Look at that. <laughs> On the back that. Look at that. That is hideous. That would pass an MOT, wouldn't it? Yeah. Not a bad wait at all. It was about 10-15 minutes in the end. Yeah, I think everyone is. Oh yeah, designing the car and that. Yeah, that's not bad. I do definitely prefer the old style Ferrari. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Yeah.